Mariners are in town and everybody. Kyle Finnegan on to pitch for Washington in the ninth. Cal Raleigh leads it off for the Mariners down by two. First pitch swinging. Finnegan goes for that outer edge and gets it. This will be important, but before we get there, I noticed something about Finnegan's pitching. Pours it in. Notice how close Finnegan gets to a pitch clock violation. We're at two, one, then the movement right before zero. Bellino turned his head. I thought maybe they were complaining about that. Had to swing on 0-2. After a few foul balls. Ooh, a timer violation. We have a clock violation. So it's not the pitch clock issue. Maybe it's the three strikeouts. But all three of them are swinging, not looking. Pitch timer violation. K. Beard holding it. Remember this pitch. It is a ball. It is super close, correctly officiated, but it will come into play. Strike! Three call! And Cal is not happy with that call. Rally undoubtedly looking at strike three and thinking about ball three. They were similar, but they weren't quite the same. This one was clearly a strike in the zone. Maybe it's that, what's it called, the golden sombrero? Ten pitches oh. in the at-bat. Now somebody's got to come get him, and now here comes Scott. And I'm, I know Ty's trying, part of Garber, and now... Player is frustrated. It's just a manager taking the ejection for the player. As for the ejection itself, Bellino rally talking balls and strikes. It's going nowhere, so service collects his player. That's good, but continues arguing that's bad. Bellino warns Seattle to stop arguing balls and strikes. The rule book says, warn them, and if the manager or coach leaves the bench to argue balls and strikes after being warned to stop, they can be ejected. Well, service has left his position. He's on the field and he's ejected because he continues arguing balls and strikes after being warned to stop. He got run. He's saying it was the same pitch as the one that we highlighted earlier where Dan Bellino got it right. He got both right. Exactly. And they will realize the error of their ways when they have a look at that in a few minutes. I mean, when you're on the side, how can you tell? Don't you think most managers are going off the reaction of their player? First service, mission accomplished, rally stayed in the game, and he goes to the clubhouse knowing he saved a player.